I guess I've been blessed in being raised in, in both cultures, and I grew up in Honduras. There is, you know, so much to do, um, but since we've started and since the projects have started, uh, you know, even seeing the, the development of uh, and the growth of, of some of these kids and, and even their artistic ability, for an example, um, and uh, their education, I mean, there is so much progress. There's, there's always something to do, and, um, and, and I think that, uh, uh, you know, the more we can do and the more people we can bring in and the more help, you know, it's, it's, it's wonderful. And, uh, you know, it's an honor for me as an ambassador to be able to, to, to you know, put the word out there and to help and, and to uh, bring the awareness also. Uh, I think that, that uh, you know, with everybody's help, we can do so much. The idea of Just World International was born in Honduras, where founder Jessica Newman worked to help Hondurans overcome the devastation in the aftermath of Hurricane Mitch. More than a decade later, with projects that span the globe and help improve the lives of thousands of children on a daily basis, Just World International has not forgotten those who initially inspired its creation. Just World International actively helps impoverished Honduran children through a variety of development projects, each of which is adapted to their specific and unique needs. In the Tegucigalpa slum of Nueva Suyapa, young people are invited to join weekend classes teaching traditional Honduran drawing and painting. The goal of these classes is twofold. Teach the children a craft they can then use to help generate income, and keep these kids off the street, where drug use, gangs and violence await them. While public school is technically free in Honduras, children are required to wear school uniforms and provide their own school supplies. Some of the brightest young Honduran minds are kept out of classrooms due to the sad fact that their families cannot provide them with these school necessities. Just World International and the local NGO Angel Works have come together to help provide children in rural villages with the materials they need to get the education they deserve. In partnership with the Honduran NGO Compartia, Just World International brings books to children living in the most remote and impoverished areas of Tegucigalpa through the Mobile Library Project. Lively, interactive classes take place each time the bookmobile makes a stop. Children are encouraged to learn classic stories through games, painting and other fun activities. Books help transport these children to other times and places, while sparking their creativity and encouraging them to open their minds. On the north coast of Honduras, the marginalized Garifuna village of Tornabe has been hard hit by extreme poverty and the effects of HIV AIDS. Just World works closely with the community to provide orphaned and other vulnerable children with after-school tutoring, school supplies and uniforms, a lunchtime feeding program and extracurricular programs including sports, leadership training and cultural activities. Through the generous commitment of equestrian Natalie Johnson just World International's own permanent center to help these children has been made possible. Just World supporters and volunteers have a special opportunity to bring a smile to a child's face when visiting Honduras. Whether through a shared meal or the simple gift of a bag of candy, these regular visits bring people from different worlds together, create bonds and friendships, and contribute to cultural understanding for everyone involved.
Honduras is one of the poorest countries in Latin America. Violence, poverty, drug use, unemployment, illiteracy and gangs are just some of the threats that Honduran children face. Just World International is committed to helping the children of Honduras overcome these obstacles and lead productive lives that help bring progress and stability to their country. Now, Jessica in Honduras and Chess World in Honduras, I see the different programs and they go straight to the, what we really need. We need culture for this way in Honduras, they helping with books and, and preparation of the children. And I believe with the support of Yes World, we can help to make it better. And we need not only one Yes World, we need hundreds of Yes World and we need growing Yes World 